Welcome to this week's edition of RC Arrow's Mini Celebration. I'm Carrie, the leader of Restoration's Elementary Kids Ministry. So what do Jesus and hand grenades have in common? Well, stick with me because you're going to find out. But first, have you ever wondered why we always end our prayers with, in Jesus' name we pray, amen? Like, why couldn't we say, in Carrie's name we pray, amen? Or better yet, in Donald Trump's name we pray, amen? Well, Jesus said in John 14, 13, you can ask for anything in my name and I will do it so that the Son can bring glory to the Father. We get our prayers answered when we use and pray in the name of Jesus. But not just anybody can use his name. It's only those who belong to him. So just like when a woman marries a man, she takes his last name. When you make Jesus your Lord and your Savior, your Father God gives you the right to use the name of his son Jesus. And what a powerful name it is. The Bible says that God elevated Jesus to the place of highest honor and gave him the name of all other names that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue declare that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. There is no greater name than Jesus. There is so much power in that name. But you know what? If you never say his name with your mouth or believe in the power of that name, you're never going to see his power work. I wanna show you something. This is a hand grenade, and don't worry parents, there's actually no explosive material in this. It's totally empty. And a hand grenade is basically a weapon that a soldier would use in battle. So if a soldier were to take this safety pin here and pull it out, the safety lever would be released, and then the fuse inside of it would be lit. And in just a short time, it would explode and harm or destroy everything near it. So when a soldier removes the safety pin, he's got to throw this thing at his target and get it away from him before it explodes on himself. But wouldn't it be foolish if during an attack, a soldier just held a grenade in his hand, never removed the safety pin, never threw it? That would be so foolish, right? Well, in some ways, it's like that with Christians and the name of Jesus. A lot of them don't ever speak and say his name with authority. And if they do say it, they don't really believe that anything is actually going to happen. It really is like holding on to a grenade and never removing that safety pin. We need to start using the power that God has given us in the name of Jesus. So when should you use the name of Jesus? Well, a good place to start is when you pray for other people. Now in Acts 3, John and Peter, two disciples of Jesus, were walking towards the temple gate and they saw this beggar. He was lame, that meant he couldn't walk. And so he asked them for money and they were like, we don't have any money, but what we do have, we'll give you. Then they said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Well, immediately he was able to walk. He begins jumping and praising and worshiping God. And the people are, of course, amazed. And a little later, when Peter is explaining this miracle to the people, he says this, that man was healed by the name of Jesus and faith in that name. You see, when you pray for someone who needs healing and you say, be healed in Jesus' name, and you actually believe in the power of that name, you're gonna see healings. Another good time to use the name of Jesus is when you're afraid and you need peace. You can actually say, fear go in the name of Jesus and peace come. And that fear can't stay. Did you know that demons and Satan are actually afraid of the name of Jesus? They are. My friend Jennifer told me that she heard a minister once say that we have more power in our little finger with the name of Jesus than Satan has in his entire kingdom. Now this week, some of you kids got the chance to use the name of Jesus when we had our prayer Zoom call. And we prayed for the COVID-19 patients here at Mosaic. 
It was a powerful time. I was so proud of you kids that prayed. And what did we do at the end? We said, in Jesus' name, amen. It's time to use the weapon, that power that God gave us in the name of his son, Jesus Christ. We need to pull the pin out of that grenade and use his name. Let me pray for you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.